clueless, handsome, clever and totally rich. And one of the greatest screen adaptations of Jane Austen's Emma ever made. Amy Heckerling rewrote Austen's kind but meddling heroine Emma into spoiled plaid-clad schoolgirl Cher. Ah, oh, as if! With an equally good heart and the same penchant for ill-conceived matchmaking. Clueless took everything that fans of Austen loved, the essence, the wit, the observational comedy, and translated it perfectly into a peppy 90s rom-com equivalent. Yeah, you know, if I ever saw you do anything that wasn't 90% selfish, I'd die of shock. Oh, that'd be reason enough for me. A wave of like-minded movies followed. Funny, quippy, glossy teen comedies which reimagined classic works of literature. But why do these stories, originally written centuries ago, feel so at home amongst the bleachers and the locker rooms? Obviously, some changes have to be made when updating something written hundreds of years ago. Heckling switches up Austen's traditional wedding finale, casting Cher's middle-aged school teachers as the happy couple. After all, it would be icky for a 90s schoolgirl to fall in love with a man 16 years her senior, as Emma did with Mr Knightley. Instead, Cher making out with her stepbrother Josh kept in that slightly morally ambiguous relationship, while potential suitor Christian turning out to be gay both modernised the story and allowed for some charming scenes of Cher attempting to woo a gay teen. Are you OK? The taboo of step-sibling lust also rears its head in cruel intentions, but this time it's not nearly so innocent. Damn boy. The film was distinctly naughtier than its peers, exploring a manipulative series of seductions similar to those that scandalised readers of the original text, Les Liaisons Dangereuses, by Pierre Chaudelot de Laclos. Everybody loves me, and I intend to keep it that way. This story works so well centuries later because within the vicious and judgmental social circles of pre-revolution France, your reputation is your life. Sound familiar? Manhattan prep school cliques have that same ability to make or break you. So Catherine's downfall, aka the total ruin of her reputation, is akin to death. Gentlemen, we have a winner. Spoilt rich kids making bets is at the heart of another great teen adaptation. Admittedly, She's All That plays fast and loose with the plot of George Bernard Shaw's Pygmalion, but high school is a great place to show the extremity of the class divide. Isn't your dad my poor man? I really wouldn't know. Lainey Boggs and Hot Jock Zack are totally at odds economically and socially, but while Shaw's original finishes with a new and improved Eliza Doolittle, Lainey's life doesn't really change because Zack made a bet about making her prom queen. She remains her badass self all the way through. And it's Zack whose life is irrevocably changed by the last dance. Pygmalion couldn't work in a modern setting without this feminist take. And speaking of feminists, here's one of the most iconic. Kat from 10 Things I Hate About You is everyone's high school hero and pretty close to Katerina, the eponymous shrew who everyone despises in Shakespeare's misogynistic The Taming of the Shrew. People perceive you as somewhat tempestuous. Heinous bitch is the term used most often. The reason why they're both outcasts is essentially the same, despite the 400-year chasm, because they both had the temerity to say no to a man. The major difference here is that the film swaps manipulative Petruchio for charismatic bad boy Patrick Verona, who realises that he doesn't want to change Cat, but rather steps up to meet her expectations of him and in one of the most heart-melting moments in teen movie history, sacrifices himself on the altar of dignity. I love you, baby, and if it's quite all right, I need you, baby, to God, you and your brother look scary like from the back. On the other hand, She's the Man is a very literal retelling, with its version of Twelfth Night. But apart from just keeping the original character names... Horatio Gold. Malcolm Festies. Viola. What's up? 
I'm Sebastian. This film probably has the most fun with its Shakespeareisms peppered throughout. Welcome to Illyria. The welcome, exotic welcome. setting of Illyria is now a college. Viola's original alter ego, Cesario, is now a pizza joint. And the uptight steward, Malvolio, is, well, a tarantula. <laughs> But when it comes to tragedies, these high school adaptations are harder to translate. By setting Shakespeare's bleakest tragedy, Othello, on a college basketball court, you'd think there'd be room for a raised eyebrow or at least a knowing smirk. But oh, with its well-meaning attempt to take these tragic themes very seriously, feels at odds with the flippant, tongue-in-cheek approach that we've come to expect from this genre and, unforgivably, turns Iago, one of the most insidious and infamous villains in literary history, into a petulant school kid whose daddy doesn't love him. Is there some reason you're still in this office, son? However, Mackay Pfeiffer's Odin is still the only lead character of colour in these adaptations, a subgenre which, for all of its modernisations and rule-breaking, keeps its lead characters as white as they would have been 400 years ago. change 400 year old literature actually you can 2001's get over it took a distinctly meta approach to its adaptation of a midsummer night's dream where would-be lovers burke and kelly mimic some of the actions of shakespearean lovers lysander and helena but to really push that 90s postmodernism further the film is also about the characters putting on a bastardized musical called a midsummer night rockin eve There's a girl Making Shakespeare's most famous play about a play into a high school film adaptation about a musical of a play about a play? Trust me, it works. But if there's one thing that Clueless has taught us, it's how quickly trends become so last season. And it wasn't long before teen literary adaptations petered out. My life is over. That's it. However, in a world where battles are fought and won on sports pitches, reputation is everything, and getting a date for prom can feel like life or death, high school will always be the perfect modern setting for many much-loved classics. <laughs>